Labor Day marks the unofficial end of summer, and some of us are sad to see summer go. Yeah, I'm sad to see the warm weather go, but there is still a lot to look forward to this fall. Yeah, absolutely. So we went around our News 4 newsroom, and we kind of took a poll of what people are looking forward to this fall. And everyone says that's a great thing about Western New York is all of the seasons here. So here was our number five, the beautiful fall foliage, and our region is full of some amazing views each autumn. And I can't stress that enough. I mean, to see the leaves change color, Emily, go down to Ellicottville. It is just picture perfect, beautiful there. And we got a picture, I think, was it last week, where um, one tree was already starting to change color? Yeah, as I make the drive down to 90 occasionally, um, you know, and lately I've been doing that a little bit more, seeing that there's more fall color already out there. So, you know, with the warmer temperatures, cooler nights, that certainly helps the leaves change color. And also with the lack of rainfall, I'm sure that has something to do with getting those colors to turn earlier and at least getting the leaves to fall off of the yeah, trees. Yeah, that's right. It's so pretty. And number four is it's pumpkin season. From coffee to beer to pies, pumpkins are everywhere. And I think I better make the time to actually make my first pumpkin pie this year. Yes. Yummy pumpkin pie. I have to say this weekend I had a peach muffin uh, from the co-op, the Lexington co-op, and it was so delicious. Peach is like the quintessential, I think, summer fruit. Getting into fall, it's definitely the pumpkin uh, type drinks. And pumpkin pie is from a real pumpkin. Once you have that, you can't go back. After you leave the canned pumpkin, a real pumpkin, there's nothing like it. It makes you excited for Thanksgiving, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Also, number three, fall fashion. You know, there's the new trends, but who doesn't love to get out that old wool sweater, right? Corduroys, I don't like that, but some people like that. Uh, <laughs> oh. So, you know, fall fashion is something to look forward to. Um, you know, it's the coziness, it's the hot chocolate, it's the cider with cinnamon. I'm going to try to get you in corduroys at some point. Yeah, that's fall. not going to be happening. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw corduroys this weekend, and they are really cute on some people. They're just not for me. I just don't get them. I don't like them. I don't wear them, but I admire them on other people. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> Number two is it's hunting season. Um, from bow start, hunting season starts on October 1st with the regular season beginning on November 17th. And you know who would know all about this is News 4's George Ricker. He loves to hunt. He's the outdoorsman, yes. yes. And people in this area to love that we get the snow because then when they go hunting it's easier to track deer to see where the footprints are leaving and that sort of thing so you know hopefully this winter we're talking about fall now but hopefully this winter delivers and we do get a little bit of snow because I know the hunters are really wanting that last year to kind of see um, where, where the deer and, and other animals were Yeah you were didn't going. deliver much snow did you? And we can't <laughs> talk about yeah not a lot of snow we can't <laughs> talk about fall without talking about what else football I mean this is pretty much a no-brainer you have the bills and not just football, uh, professional football, but we also have all of our high school teams, our college teams, uh, the UB Bulls, obviously. And I'm going to say, kind of also with football, kind of start getting into hockey season, too. I know hockey's a little bit more winter, but you know, just kind of the change of the sports. You're getting away from baseball, you're getting into football, and then with that, you're getting into, you know, the fun tailgates and that sort of thing. So, you know, a lot to look forward to with fall. Yeah, for sure. It's so much fun to feel that crispness in the air and have that sweatshirt on as you head into a, you know, a football stadium. Absolutely. And while it's the unofficial end to summer, the official end to summer is still a ways away. We still have about a month left, so we can enjoy it just because, you know, Labor Day is here and will be going by tomorrow. Doesn't mean that our temperatures are going to be fall like necessarily. So, you know, we still have some time left to enjoy the warmer weather. That's right. But for now, we're going to send things on over to Emily Lenahan with your doctor.